Right guys, welcome back. So as now you can see, we're starting to look like a more proper two-car garage. So this is the introduction video to um, our newest addition into the fleet and this is the GLC 63S Edition 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do you a walk around. I'm going to talk to you about some of the specifications that we have chosen with this car, the reasons why and what was the reason for buying a car that has got a few surfaces which we have never touched before fell before and exactly what that will bring towards the company ethos so probably the most important thing and the most obvious thing that people have already noticed is the fact that this car is non-shiny so people are going to think have you lost your mind um we haven't there's a specific reason why we've decided to go for this so like i said it's a glc shape itself so this is the suv version they've got two versions so they've got the coupe which kind of goes down like this and you've got the suv which obviously has that big beefy uh, back end personally me and kelly prefer this shape now if you look at it from the side it just looks so mean so glc obviously the shape is the shape now You've got the 63 part now in the mercedes world when you talk in 63 this is the big daddy or like i could call it the full fat version so the glc 63 it's got a four liter twin turbo okay so it's the same powertrain as my gts but with a few key options which i'm going to get to in a minute so, so the glc 63 now again the next level up is the s version and S basically means it's got more power, it's got more kind of standard extras that you wouldn't get on a normal GLC or GLC 63. Now this is where it gets the interesting part. So the Edition 1 is the Mercedes version of like a limited run or a limited production car or a limited edition really. So I need to actually do a little bit of numbers in terms of how many cars in this spec were produced. But at the end of the day, that's not why we bought it. It's not because it's a rare car, because we just bought it because of how it looks and what it's going to serve to us. So the Edition 1, I think a standard come with the matte paint. So this is the Magno paint that Mercedes call it. Selenite grey, if I'm correct. So basically, it's completely matte. It's got a, actually a wonderful metallic flake in it as well. So it's not really, really dull. So it's got a nice metallic flake into the paint but with what matte paints are there's a big big list of do's and don'ts with this paint job but before i get into the paint we're going to obviously talk about some of the other things that come as standard again options you've got the, the forged 21 inch wheels which um you know what i didn't think i'd like it if i'm completely honest like this wheel design because i'm more of an open wheel kind of guy however the fact that they've took the pinstripe off, so basically when we first viewed the car, it had some yellow decals, the pinstripe on the wheels and the pinstripe here, which again has been removed quite well by them. So with a yellow pinstripe that was around the wheel, uh, the wheels actually, first of all, looked smaller and it looked a little bit tacky, but again, that's opinions and this is my opinion. We didn't really like it. So they redid the whole wheel for us. Now with a fully black wheel, it looks really nice personal opinion again now another huge advantage in my opinion this car has come as standard with the famous so the world famous uh, carbon ceramic system from mercedes so the mercedes carbon um, ceramic brakes and i have personally never owned a car with carbon ceramic brakes now i do know how to look after them we have serviced a lot of clients on a regular basis who have got carbon ceramics and carbon ceramics are usually found on very expensive cars and very fast cars in either one or the other or obviously in both now i've asked uh, the dealership just to give me a rundown on what some of these options cost so obviously the magna paint is six thousand eight hundred pound carbon ceramic brakes are four thousand pounds etc etc so as you can see the costs are already starting to skyrocket between these two anyway it's over what is it 11 grand and it's you've got to be very careful with these things because the disc themselves are huge you've got um, the huge calipers themselves which if something goes wrong or if you don't look after them correctly it's going to be a very big expensive build now again with the forged wheels you've got the center locks now so it's not your typical stud pattern that you see obviously behind it it still works the same but visually the center locks do a very nice clean look 
Again, it's got the sports exhaust system from AMG, which is unbelievable. Um, it's still not as good as like we like to hear it. So what's going to happen over time is we, we are going to modify the exhaust system. We actually, the offset on those wheels is actually pretty much bang on, but it could be probably increased by a couple of mils. So we'll probably end up potentially, depends, I need to look at it, but um, introduce five, 10 mil spaces maximum if needs be but overall it's it's just a lovely car obviously i'm going to show you inside now and it's got the optional um sports seats all the gadgets and me and kelly feel truly blessed that we can get into these two level of cars if it's just such a nice place to be and i don't know if you can tell from my face but i'm super excited to actually start washing it protecting and developing products from it so obviously one of the main reasons we bought this spec car is we originally looked like a at a metallic black version of this minus the edition one so as you all know black's my favorite color it's kelly's favorite color it brings its benefits and it brings its obviously downfalls with it being black currently it's very warm so obviously pollen season is rife and black and pollen don't really mix but like i said the main reason why we've got the the matte paint is it's all well looking after somebody's matte car so it's mainly um like a wrap so imagine a matte satin wrap and we have looked after thousands of them on a consistent basis so we've got a very good baseline in maintenance and the knowledge of the maintenance however there's a different level to when you actually live with this car this car is not a wrap if you open the doors lift the engine bay you can see that the whole shell has been painted professionally obviously by uh, mercedes so this is a true matte paint there's no wraps or any of that and we are going to develop on the back of this a whole range of products obviously top end you've got the coatings we've got sealants waxes potential spray waxes um, detail sprays stuff like this that you cannot just pick up a, just a usual detail spray so for example our detail spray on this car is not recommended um, so basically what we're going to do is create non-gloss non-sheen but obviously very highly protective and repellent uh, or repelling products against a matte paint so because we're going to live with this car we're going to obviously test it on this car we're going to see its durability so it's so much better for us to actually get a baseline so this is probably one of the main reasons because we want to expand into a whole different subculture with, within the car care industry now another thing as well carbon ceramics there's been a big divide of what kind of can't be used especially on the discs like or the rotors as the americans call it um, i will leave that for the next video um, our products are safe completely on carbon ceramic brakes however um, there are some still people that believe that they're not so what i'm going to be doing as well is i'm going to be doing a lot of debusting demething again this is our car i don't want to break my car and if i do break my car like i've already told you some of these things in fact everything on this bloody car is so expensive i don't want to be upfront to no money to fix something that i should have known better so with this i'm going to be showing you debusting myths again potentially this has got satin wheels so we're going to be looking at wheel products potentially that are matte kind of specific for the wheels again it's very hard um, wheel cleaners have to be slightly more what's the word kind of friendly towards these finishes because if you're going to take an acidic wheel cleaner on this 100 i do not recommend it or if you've got a super heavy you know like a ph 12 13 alkaline wheel cleaner again do not recommend this so you're looking at in the range of your you know your sixes or your eights or if you if you can ph 7 in and around that number is what i would recommend but again it's all about the development showing you guys bringing you in and kind of saying look this is what we're doing this is our car it's not a customer's car we we're not hiding from anything now obviously if you just look plenty of space we've got custom stitching custom bucket seats very nice so the front 
there's no difference. You've got the full upgrade. You've got obviously the Burmeister over there, which is a whole different league of stereos. You've got complete adjustment on your uh, bucket seats as you usually would. Full Alcantara steering wheel, full carbon center consoles and carbon accents all over the car. So yeah, as you can see the seats, they look very supportive. Yeah, just typical AMG, top class. Everything is top notch and just the way I like it. So I've got a very nice expensive lens. It's, it's a wide angle and hopefully it shows you the details, but what your eyes can't show you, um, I've, I've tried to play around with a few angles is from, say if you're looking at it this way, as if you're looking in towards the rear door, the beefiness of this car, but the rear end of it, it's just personally, I love it, right? It's not everybody's cup of tea, but to me and Kelly, it just looks like fat, you know, there's whoa, like this. Um, that's probably a, a bad impression of an AMG. <laughs> but it's just, I think it's just such a beautiful car. Now, there's gonna be a lot of people, oh, can I touch your paint again? I'm gonna be hitting people with the back of my hand not to do this, because you can still, you know, scratch matte paint. And once you scratch it, you can't polish it out. So if you've got a ding, you need to respray it, which is still, um, not ideal it's a very expensive paint job it's going to be very expensive to respray but once we start protecting it and it's going to add that 10 15 percent you know the sheen not shine but sheen um, and it's just going to glow as i said it's got metallic flake within the paint and i just oh, I, I cannot wait to um start really honing the paint in the car just in general like the whole car needs a flush the arches are kind of you know, not being prepped properly. Um, so yeah, it's it's an amazing experience to own a car like this. Obviously this, let me just double check that I'm not talking um, out of turn here, but this has got actually the newest um, Mercedes four wheel drive system. So the the usual four wheel drive that Mercedes are known for is the Formatic. Now this is the Formatic Plus. So from the research that I've currently done um, about the system is it's available only on a handful of cars but they are going to eventually roll it out across the whole range where applicable but the formatic plus it's now correct me if i'm wrong in the view um in the comments but it is more rear wheel kind of heavy so again the system is so intuitive so if you do start losing traction it'll it'll switch it up but this is one of these suvs i think it's the only one of the only suv style vehicles that you can actually drift um and actually get your back end out when you're on the roads which again i'm not going to do um i protect i potentially don't want to be rolling into a ditch but from all the youtube reviewers that i've seen it's apparently it's a very nice system so that's it guys, I just wanted to make it short and sweet and um, explain to you some of the very basics of you know, what this car is if you're not sure, just you know, so you can actually Google the car if you're that way inclined or you're interested. But um, as I'm sure you know, there's gonna be a lot of in-depth washing videos of this. There's gonna be a lot of comparisons of products. I will obviously buy product in as well to baseline against kind of our products now this is going to be a lot easier because matte paint's very rare it's very expensive it's starting to become more common however um luckily for now when i do have to buy something in i don't have to go and buy fifty-seven thousand shampoos <laughs> um but um yeah it's just been an unbelievable experience and i've just been so grateful with me and kelly that we've actually got the opportunity to actually own a car like this and then to own a car like this, again, two different cars on the spectrum, but uh, it's just a very humbling experience. Like I always keep saying, um, I am gonna keep chasing the dream. It's not over yet. We're only about one meter into a 400 mile race, but still it's very humbling. The fact that, you know, the car's the car, it's, you know, it's very nice. It's a very premium brand. Again, I've, <laughs> I've always said I've never owned a Mercedes before I owned this. Within the year, now we have two. So life moves very quickly for us here at Young Cars. But um, guys, look, 
thank, thank you so much for you know ordering all the stuff that you order and all the messages of support after we bought the car we had hundreds of messages we had even more messages curious prior to the pickup obviously there's been a lot of kind of teasers on instagram and stuff like that but uh, I, I couldn't ask for better clients better customers um you guys are truly awesome so um thank you so much for the orders um please keep them coming and keep the team busy and as always i hope you enjoy the products for the people who've got matte cars satin cars who are either going to spec this color or you know the matte black from mercedes or from another manufacturer or you're thinking of getting your car wrapped um, rest assured that i'm personally gonna you know try my hardest to develop the best product possible for this style of non-reflective finish but without further ado again guys thank you so much and seriously stay tuned it's going to be a crazy ride thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one